there was panic in Tunis. These people had to flee machine gun fire during a nearly three-hour assault in the Tunisian capital. At least two heavily armed men stormed the Bardo Museum. They shot indiscriminately at tourists and took hostages. The siege ended when Tunisian special units stormed the building and freed the captives. The first findings show that 19 people were killed in the attack, including 17 foreign tourists of different nationalities, Polish, Italians, Germans and Spanish, in addition to two Tunisians. The two terrorists were killed. The Bardo Museum is in central Tunis, next to the country's parliament. It's one of the capital's main attractions. At the time of the attack, it's believed around 100 tourists were in the building. Following the siege, French President François Hollande expressed sympathy during a visit to the Louvre Museum. Former colonial power France is Tunisia's most important partner in Europe. No matter when or where a terror is perpetrated, we are all affected. It's a hard setback for the country. Unlike many of its neighbours, Tunisia was able to put democratic structures in place after the Arab Spring. The assault at the Bardo Museum is the worst terror attack the country has seen since then.